In this video, I'm going to share with you the latest Google Ads tips, secrets and strategies that are working right now, which can make you thousands of dollars. The truth is, Google Ads is constantly changing and many advertisers are stuck using old and outdated tactics and strategies that just no longer work anymore, leaving them left behind. I've helped thousands of business owners just like yourself transform their struggling campaigns into profit engines simply by applying a few very simple tweaks. So by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what is working right now in 2025 based on real data, not theory, so you can get an edge over your competition. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is Performance Max. Google wants you to think that Performance Max campaigns are the only campaign you will ever need. And if you don't know what a Performance Max campaign is, it's a campaign type which will put your ads across the entire Google ad ecosystem. That is shopping, if you're e-commerce, search, display, YouTube, Gmail, discovery, etc. Essentially, your ads show up everywhere and you don't have to lift a finger. Sounds perfect, right? Well, except it's not. Why? Because many businesses, particularly local businesses, don't need their ads across the entire Google ad ecosystem. So if you let Google control everything, they will waste your hard-earned money, guaranteed. I was recently helping a dental client who was running Performance Max. They thought it would bring in leads, but instead Google dumped their budget into YouTube and display ads. Lots of views, but no extra patience. Let me show you an example of this wasted ad spend. Here is this particular ad campaign. They had over 3 million impressions. They spent over $16,000. And as you can see here, zero leads, zero conversion. Because the truth is a dental practice just needs a really dialed in Google search campaign with their ad in the Google map pack. And that's it, hyper-targeted with no waste. Google wants Performance Max to be a one-size-fits-all campaign type. However, the problem is, is that it's sometimes a one-size-fits-no-one type of campaign. So my advice is to use Performance Max with a lot of caution. If your business has a long sales cycle, Performance Max will likely target the wrong kind of audience. Also, if you don't have strong conversion tracking, your budget could disappear with really low quality traffic because Google doesn't have enough data. Although Performance Max isn't all bad. When it's used the right way, it can drive results if you know when to use it, as in what type of business it's appropriate for and when to avoid it. So here's what you need to do. Firstly, start with a test budget and possibly even run a search campaign alongside your Performance Max campaign so you can compare results. The next thing I would do is to check where your ad spend is going. If most of the budget is going to display and video instead of search, you may need to change campaign type and only use it if you have strong conversion tracking set up. If Google doesn't know what a good lead is looks like for you, it will guess and it will be expensive. So whilst I don't think every kind of business should use Performance Max, I do think that almost all all businesses should use this next campaign type that I'm going to talk about. In fact, I am yet to see an ad account where this type of campaign has not worked. And what I want to talk about in my next tip is implementing a dynamic search campaign. Now, this is different to a traditional search campaign where you are deciding what keywords to bid on with a dynamic search campaign. Google is deciding what keywords to bid on based on the content on your page. When Google first came out with this, I thought this is going to be terrible, but I have to say it has improved significantly over the years and now it works incredibly well. If I show you real quick in an ad account just how good it is, you can see here, this is an ad account for a dental practice. This first campaign is a dynamic search campaign. It gets a lot more impressions than all the other search campaigns and we delivered 230 leads at a cost per lead of $25 per lead, which is much less than all the other search campaigns. So keywords are the backbone to a successful search campaign, yet many businesses end up bidding on the wrong types of keywords. They tend to go for more browsing type keywords and don't really think like their target audience. However, imagine if you could get Google to whisper in your ear the exact terms that your target audience uses to deliver the right kind of visitors to your page and you don't have to lift a finger. I would think you would be curious, right? But that's exactly what dynamic search ads do. 
when harnessed correctly, they can uncover profitable keywords that you had never even considered and they can fine tune your targeting strategy before you start wasting money on irrelevant keywords. So if you implement this type of campaign, you'll find it a great way to do keyword research based on real data, not the estimates that Google give you in their keyword planner. And my three tips when it comes to implementing a dynamic search campaign is the first is to start with a low budget. Dynamic search campaigns are your secret research weapon, but let Google do the heavy lifting by testing various search terms for you without overpaying for clicks. The second thing is to dive into the search term report for, your, for that dynamic search campaign and extract the best performing keywords and incorporate them into your main search campaigns because you want to bid differently for those keywords so you can maintain control. And the third suggestion I have is to weed out low intent search terms. So whilst dynamic search is really excellent for discovery, you will need to prune for irrelevant searches so that you can control your budget and it can maintain its effectiveness. Now, my next tip is a critical one if you wanna get high conversion rates without the work. And I'm gonna to talk to you about bidding. So let's be real, manual bidding is exhausting and pretty outdated now. Constantly adjusting bids, analyzing CPCs, and trying to outsmart the competitors is a job in of itself, but also perhaps, and more importantly, is no longer the best way to manage campaigns in 2025. The good news is that Google's automated bid strategies have gotten a lot smarter. And if you set up your campaigns the right way and use the right strategy, you can actually bring down your cost per lead without having to change anything else in your campaign. I actually saw this recently with a client of mine. He was running ads with manual CPC bidding, spending hours trying to tweak his bids. And when we followed the right process, we switched to target CPA bidding and his cost per lead dropped by over 35%. Not only did he not have to manage his bids daily anymore, but he, that literally that one change we made got him extra leads. It was like free money. But here's the mistake that many people make is they pick the wrong bid strategy by letting Google chase clicks instead of conversions, or they implement the automated bid strategy way too early. So my advice with automated bidding is number one, make sure you have enough data to test target CPA bidding. And this forces Google to prioritize actual results. For e-commerce, try target ROAS bidding. This helps scale cam campaigns based on profit, not just volume of sales and also avoid maximized clicks. This is the fastest way to waste money as Google will get you more clicks, but not necessarily better results. So if you do want to test max clicks, I would, you know, I would do so with caution, but make sure you put in an upper bid limit of your CPC so Google doesn't go crazy uh, with the CPC costs. I actually have a dedicated video on our 4S bidding process, which you can watch here. I'll put a link in the description, which outlines my exact process that you should follow to get similar results to this client of mine that I just mentioned. So you can check it out. So what's the big takeaway in 2025? Google is pushing more automation than ever, but you still need to stay in control. Use Performance Max carefully. It's definitely not for every business and hopefully you understand why now. You can also leverage dynamic search ads to discover hidden keyword opportunities that you would have otherwise never thought of and make sure you adopt automated bid strategies the right way. Don't just let Google chase clicks and traffic for the sake of traffic. If you've got value from this, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more Google ad strategies that actually work. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments and I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.